Hey everyone, I'm Sacred, and in this video I will be teaching you guys how to material swap, um, basically to have your materials change um, using a radio wheel. Um, so, uh, with that being said, what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your parameters uh, for your avatar and create a new parameter. I'm going to call mine bubble, s like, I, I don't know what happened there, bubble slide max. Um, you can call it whatever you want here. Just make sure it's the same name for everything, okay? So once you guys have done that, you're going to go to your FX layer inside your avatar. And you're going to create a layer called the same thing you just did in your parameters. Once you do that, you're going to change its weight to 1. Oh, by the way, guys, before I forget, make sure that your material slider is a float, okay? For Just so you guys know, for toggles that are on and off, like... Um, uh, so I can't think of something like socks or arm chains. They're going to be bools that are just two values, a negative and a, or a false and a true. That's what a bool to toggle is. A float, I don't know the actual term, but a float has a value of numbers that it'll go through and cycle through. It's basically what that means. So make sure that it's a float for your material, float for your material toggles. Okay. Then go to your FX layer, go to your parameters, and make a new float called the same thing uh, you did in your parameters. So I already made mine, so I don't have to make one, but make sure that you create one inside your parameters. Then what you're gonna do is duplicate your model and hide your main model. Then what you wanna do is navigate to where you wanna make the, um, make the, uh, tog make the toggles and you're gonna go to you're gonna click on your model go to animation click right here and create new clip then what i do is i just call them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um as i'm doing the bubble slot uh, as i'm doing the material toggles um but what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this record key your character's gonna go through the floor don't worry it happens all the time and go to your material uh, go, make sure your materials in view go to your uh, materials folder uh, right here, and put a material on and then stop recording then what you're gonna do is create a new clip and call it two and then record project put a new material on stop recording create a new clip three boom put a new material on record or end record, create a new clip, blah blah blah, you guys know the deal. Um, I'm gonna quickly do this until I get to the white one to show you guys just what you have to do uh, when you when the material that is already on the avatar, for example the white, when you have to switch to the white, it's, <laughs> it's super simple. So um, what you're gonna do is you can create your clip, um, 6, and don't hit record, just preview so you can get the thing back in view change it to another material unpreview record project and then just put the material on and now it's white that's simple but yeah as i was saying just in case you guys are worried um about uh so i'm gonna do the pins right and you want to create a new clip and this one already says one don't worry about it as long as you put it in a new spot so i'm gonna go inside this pins folder and create my one animation It'll not overwrite, oops, it'll not overwrite just as long as you don't put it in the same location. Or name it something different, like one pins, or one extra, whatever, whatever you guys want to um, name it. Just um, make sure, it, just, like, like I said, it won't overwrite, just make sure it's in a new location. Okay guys, I have made all of my material animations um, for everything. But when you're finished your animations, what you're going to want to do is um, go to your FX layer, okay? And go to that parameter you created. Um, mine, for example, is uh, pin mats. So I'm going to uh, go here, make sure the weight is set to 1. What you're going to do is you're going to right click inside here. And actually here, let me make a new thing for you guys so I can show you. So when you get to your... Um, layer you're gonna see this right click create state from new blend tree and then what you're gonna do is click the blend tree right here click here and put it to your one you created 
then you're going to double click the blend tree, blend tree by opening it click here on the blend tree click here and put it the same uh par parameter and then for however many animations you guys have so for example both slides i have 15 i'm going to create 15 motion fields here so add motion field that motion field, 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 and so on and so forth until you have uh, enough slots for all of them. Once that is done, you're gonna go to your parameters. Now, once you have finished that, you're gonna go to your materials. Mine's right here, and uh, mine's on the next page actually. So, right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click add control, and right here, you're gonna call it bubble slides. And uh, that's, 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 and then you're gonna change this type to radial puppet parameter parameter rotation bubble slides mat blow and then that's it. Um, don't use this parameter at the top; it won't work. It'll be like a little glitch. Like you'll it'll be a button kind of, and then when you let go, it'll switch. It, it's weird, but just don't use this. Okay, only use the parameter rotation. Once that is done, you can upload your avatar to VR Chat. Alright, guys, we're in VR chat, and what you're gonna do is find where you put your, um, where you put your toggle for whatever, and just use the radio wheel. And it's really, uh, using radio wheels like this, especially when you have a lot of textures, is really nice. <coughs> um, the cycle through clothing, and it gives a lot of options for players who are gonna buy your avatars. Um, uh, it's just really nice. Um, but speaking of buying avatars, this avatar right here is going to be sold on my Gumroad. It's going to have a bunch of toggles. It has a hair switch, a hat switch, a top switch, pants switch, skin tight switch, and shoe switch, and accessories. Um, so if you guys, uh, it's not done yet, as you can see, it's a little bit of bug right there. It's not done yet, but um, you guys get the gist of the avatar. If you guys do like it, please consider buying it. It's going to be in the top of the description. Um, it's gonna. It has a bunch of material swaps um, for shorts, everything. Um, the trucker hat, the hoodie, the shirt, the pants, the next page. It, it even has um, uh, PP. So if you guys are into that stuff, uh, you can do that if you want. Um, but yeah, that's how you make radio wheel toggles. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, make sure to like the video and please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you never miss a video from me. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.